Now at 11, streaming CBSN Bay Area. Tributes pouring in tonight for a Bay Area leader whose life was cut short in the county she served. Good evening, I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. KPIX 5's Kenny Choi is live in Alameda this evening. And Kenny, you found out that Wilma Chan was working to help the AAPI community until the very end. Liz, she was. It uh, has been a quiet and somber night here at the scene of the accident. People have been stopping by here throughout the night to pay their respects. As you can see behind me, a memorial has been set up in her honor. Those who know her say that she was working tirelessly to help those in the community. Tonight, Wilma Chan's friends and colleagues in tears gathered to light three candles in honor of Alameda County's beloved District 3 supervisor. All right, Wilma, this one's for you. She loved um, working for the most disenfranchised. Whenever I needed her, she would be there. Demonica Robinson, an Oakland Unified teacher, says Chan fought to save early childhood learning centers from closing in her neighborhood and worked closely with a 72-year-old. It hurts my heart. It really does. That lose someone that was so dedicated, you know, in service of families and children and school districts. Chan's career in public service spanned 30 years, starting with her election as Alameda County Supervisor in 1994, then eventually becoming the first Asian American majority leader in the California State Assembly, before returning as supervisor in 2010. She wasn't uh, someone to be lightly uh, pushed over or pushed around. She was someone who was tough, and, um, and it showed. Carl Chan has been a friend and colleague for more than three decades. They were working to help struggling Oakland Chinatown businesses this week. And we need to uh, remember her as being a unifier for our entire county. Chan suffered major head injuries and was transported to Highland Hospital and pronounced dead around 2.30 this afternoon. She is a true uh, hero and dedicated uh, public servant serving all of us. Rest in peace. Kenny, what are authorities saying about what happened today, the accident? Liz, Alameda police say that there was a female driver involved in this incident. They say that she remained at the scene and is cooperating with this investigation. Meanwhile, uh, she has survived. Wilma Chan has survived by two children as well as her two grandchildren. The family is asking for privacy at this time. We're live in Alameda. Kenny Choi, KPIX 5. Such a tragic loss. All right, Kenny, thank you.